Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love reading for September 22nd to the 28th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. We're going to work on the day-to-day -day and then the overall and then advice. So stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. What's going on my Pisces romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Pisces romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, it feels good. Let's see what's going on with your love interest. What's going on my Pisces love interest romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Pisces love interest romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Pisces romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th? Pisces romantic love life for September 22nd to the 28th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So it looks like there's some things coming up pertaining to the past, some kind of reunions that maybe be affecting your romantic love life here. It does look like you are uh, definitely feeling a lot of confidence and courage here and strength here with the strength card energy on the 22nd. Your love interest is focused on family and long-term commitment with the 10 of pentacles energy. On the 23rd, it looks like prosperity is coming in for you for your romantic love life. And it does, you have this potential big opportunity coming up here, something solid here coming up, a, a solid offer, Ace of Pentacles energy. Or there's definitely a focus towards this potential opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles energy. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is focused on uh, a twin flame, a soulmate connection here. And I see that luck is on your side and things are moving in your favor with the dragon card energy. Um, it does look like on this day you're a bit self-focused here. You're isolating yourself to focus on self with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is taking charge of things so they can be victorious here with the Chariot card energy. On the 25th, it looks like there could be some challenges on you uh, on, for, for you on that day. So just be aware of that on the 25th. Um, it does look like Three of Pentacles has something to do with uh, work environment, team environment, working together. Um, towards a foundation or having more than one choice or option there with the three of pentacles energy your love interest of the person you're dealing with has a sense of being stuck or stagnant here with the uh hangman energy on the 26th your guardian angels and ancestors got your back here on the 26th and it does look like you're just radiating attractive energy out there with the queen of wands energy people just find you very attractive and sexy or just radiating that energy out there on the 26th your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the Page of Swords energy. They're trying to see something from a new way and a new perspective. On the 27th, it's time to bring some balance in your romantic love life or make sure there's an equal give and take there with the yin and yang energy. It does look like you're taking a leadership role here and you're being wise in your decision making when it comes to long-term commitments with the King of Pentacles energy. And your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has this big opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles, or they're offering an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. On the 28th, it looks like um, forgiveness is going to be affecting your romantic love life. Either someone's going to forgive you, you're going to forgive someone else here. You are having a sense that your hands are tied on this day. Like your hands are tied, your back's against the wall, and there's nothing you can do about it with the Eight of Swords energy. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, is a bit self-focused on that day with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let's focus on what your numerology is for this week here. It does look like there is a focus on some kind of potential opportunity coming up, okay? And it's about fulfillment of your wishes here. And it looks like you're coming up with a creative solution or you have more than one choice or option. And you're trying to put the work or effort into that with the Eight of Swords energy being there. All right, so let's now work on your overall here, Pisces. All right, what's gonna happen to my Pisces Romantic Love Life for September 22nd to the 28th? What's gonna happen to my Pisces Romantic Love Life for September 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. 
show me the cards I need to see. I have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for September 22nd to the 28th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. I'm just going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for September 22nd to the 28th. Pisces Romantic Love Life, September 22nd to the 28th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what do we got here? Wow. So there's some changes, transformational changes happening here, or there's um, something ending to start anew. It seems like there seems to be um, some confusion about direction here, or there is a sense of, all right, you're going around in circles in a situation. So things are coming to a completion on that. Uh, there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing. The blockage seems to be uh, this new path in love, Page of Cups energy, and someone who's not being completely honest about it, or someone who is being sneaky or deceptive about this uh, new path in love. Um, there is uh, this challenge or change because this potential for love, Page of Cups energy. At the foundation, there's this sense of loss or being left out in the cold and a sense of being stuck or stagnant here with the anchor card energy, or it's something to do with someone who is like focused on stability and stableness and having a sense that, you know what, I'm feeling left out in the cold, I'm feeling a sense of loss here. And eight is about putting the work or effort into some kind of challenge or change. In the past, there was a waiting around to see how things are going to play out when it came to a commitment, engagement, or marriage there with the ring card energy. And there was a lot of thinking, contemplating going on in the past about this. At the head of the matter, you have this potential for uh, passion here, but there's some burdens and challenges when it comes to this situation with the cross card energy. Three plus six is seven, eight, nine, a sense of wanting to fulfill wishes because of an opportunity coming up here. Let's just clarify what this fox card energy is about. Why is this fox card here? Why is this fox card here? Why is this fox card here? Show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, there's a sense that something is an equal give and take. And it's an indecision there with the Two of Swords energy about healing, recovery, and love, or moving into calmer waters and seeing the light in the tunnel there with that situation. What's going to happen in the near future? So justice is coming up. There's going to be a sense of justice for you in the near future, right? And justice is a just truth, a just decision. And there's going to be a sense of taking a risk or a gamble here because of justice. So for me, justice can represent marriage, divorce, just truth, just decision, and taking a risk, taking a roll of the die. It seems like there's a burden or challenge because of marriage, commitment, or engagement, and something that's stuck or stagnant here with the anchor card energy or a sense of wanting some kind of stability and stableness and wanting to take a risk. And we see that there's this potential for an opportunity pertaining to passion and there's a waiting around to see how things are going to play out because someone's having a sense of I'm being left out in the cold. I have a sense of loss here in this decision, justice, which is marriage, divorce, just choose, just decision. And because there's a risk around that. And we see three plus nine is 10, 11, 12, a wanting to build some, towards a foundation or creative solution. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating on how to do that. Your influence is actually a potential for some kind of long-term commitment here, Ace of Pentacles, something, a solid offer being presented here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. But there is a, a sense of a challenge around or a lack of flexibility when it comes to that, which is the risk around the situation because of commitment, engagement, or marriage. So let's see what this, this snake card energy is about. Why is the snake card here? Why is the snake card here? I'm trying to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Justice again. Wanting justice or it's something to do with a just truth, a just decision, marriage, divorce. And lovers is a twin flame soulmate connection choice that needs to be made with the heart to work together towards a foundation and just like a waiting around to see how things are going to play out here. So you have this potential offer here and also you have this potential for some kind of passion here. And it's a burden and challenge because there's a sense of having to leave something out in the cold because something is stuck or stagnant here in the situation or a sense that there's something to do with stability and stableness. Okay. So before we go to the outcome here, let's see what the advice is here. Okay. Things will turn in your favor. 
So basically, there's nothing you have to do here. The universe is going to turn in your favor, so don't worry, okay? So luck is on your side. Things will turn in your favor. So we see what's coming up, the outcome right now, is there's a sense of confusion, a sense of, you know, not having all the answers here because of something that's secret or you're trying to gain knowledge or something is yet to be known about a soulmate connection, okay? And a soulmate connection, so the choice has to be made with the heart here. Let's kind of see if we can drill down. What is this secret? What is this confusion about? What's this high priestess? Give me more information about this high priestess. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, moon card just wants to come out with some kind of confusion about speaking a truth. Because, again, high priestess wants to come out. Um about something secret or something yet to be known when it comes to love and abundance. So Spirit's saying something is yet to be known, something's gonna be revealed about this and it's gonna be spoken. It's gonna be a truth that's gonna, you're gonna know it, you're gonna know it and things are gonna turn in your favor here. Your advice, things are gonna turn in your favor because there's a soulmate connection here. And also the high priestess can speak as something spiritual. There could also be with the moon card energy, a sense of dreamy energy, something to uh, someone you've been dreaming about and something that's yet to be known about that pertaining to a soulmate connection coming up here in the, this week. Um, also, we can read it this way. There's a sense of confusion and you're gaining knowledge about the soulmate connection or someone's making a choice with their heart here. And obviously, it's going to be lucky here. Things will turn in your favor here, Pisces. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And you know I love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Um, also, I will be releasing um, another um, reading in another date or two, so watch out for that. You guys can let me know what you want to hear from me next as far as that you want secretly want to know or you want extra returns. You guys let me know. All right, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you another date or two. Have a great week.